All right, we're live. Good morning, Greeley, all of our chamber investors. By now, you have probably heard um, there's some big news happening in our community. The mayor and I wanted to come together this morning and visit with you about the public-private partnership we have forged. Uh, and now we can say it, unlike our Common Grounds copy yesterday, right, John? Uh, right. It'll be nice to actually release this. Um, the Greeley Area Recovery Fund, a public-private partnership where we hope to privately match public dollars for a total fund of 500K um, is going to be coming to fruition. This has been in the works conceptually since the start of COVID-19, but we are making it a reality and what it can mean for our businesses who are the heart of our community to get them back on their feet and keep them more solvent until federal aid arrives is pretty tremendous. Let's start this morning uh, with John, you giving an update on the city council meeting last night and sharing your thoughts. Uh, thank you, Jamie, and good morning, Greeley. Uh, last night, your Greeley City Council voted unanimously to commit $250,000 to the Greeley Area Recovery Fund. Uh, like Ms. Henning indicated, this has been a, a progress in progress now for several weeks, and it uh, is going to come to fruition. It's a public-private partnership. There is a significant need to help our small businesses. We've said that from the start. Uh, council concurs completely. Our community is resilient and we are progressing through this fairly well. But while I believe we will recover strong, we want to do what we can to get our businesses from this point to the recovery and to augment uh, both the CARE Act federal provisions and the paycheck uh, provisions that are some of our local businesses have been able to receive. So. Um, in short, we feel strongly about our businesses. We want them to survive and, and our, myself and our city council is proud that we took this step in, in cooperation with the Greeley Chamber and the city of Evans to provide some additional cash flow to our businesses because we want you to survive. Um, you need us and we need you, so let's make this a partnership. Thanks, John. Well said. Couldn't have said it better. I appreciate you very much. Um, you know, since the start of COVID-19, the Chamber's been convening with our community leaders, and John and I have uh, been sitting at the helm of that, um, really trying to create a business response task force. Um, it's been meeting since, I think, the first week of the COVID uh, uh, situation, and, and we really wanted to get together to have high communication. So our goals were to really communicate at unprecedented levels. We meet often, um, but this is really important, and to create resources resources for our members, um, to get updates on what other organizations are doing, ways we can collaborate, and uh, just to tie it to the most recent announcement, really to hatch ideas on how we can bring a rapid response to those who need us um, the most right now. And out of that was born this public-private collaboration, so we're excited to announce it. The most important thing we want you to know is how to find out more details. If there's one question John and I have been asked more than any other question, I'm going to guess it is how can we help. And uh, we're so proud to work in a community where uh, that is the primary question. And the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is donate. Uh, the fundraising effort for the private sector kicks off today. And to help those businesses who need it most, you can go to our website at www.greeleyareareCoveryFund. This website was created for a couple of purposes, but the first is to encourage donors who want to give to be able to do so. Um, that will happen at a grassroots level and it will happen at a larger donor level. You will find a donate button at the top and you will be able to help fund um, the uh, public match and help out on the private side as well. Um, so please make sure you go out today, you check out that website, you donate if you're able. Um, it's so important that we bring together those dollars because as John and I have said, there's a tremendous need out there. Uh, we have incredible leadership at the chamber. Um, our board of directors came together quickly here two weeks ago uh, to give their uh, blessing and to make sure that we move forward quickly. Uh, their comment was, this cannot wait. So our community's success and recovery hang in the balance and our board knew that. Um, our boards for the foundation and the chamber have come together to create a criterion and application along with our partners at the city. Applications open on the same site on Friday. Um, they are not available yet, but they will be this Friday. So um, we are looking forward for those businesses who need our help to be able to apply. Um, so donate first and apply Friday, um, just to give you the details. 
Um, I'm going to wrap today my part of the segment by uh, telling you that the closing of a local business is not a statistic to a chamber of commerce. We've been around for 100 years. We've seen uh, so many different economic times, but you're our businesses and our friends. It's felt personally by each and every one of us. And this is why we bear such a responsibility and a deep commitment to see you through this. Um, I'd like to let the mayor close today, but I want to close uh, my portion by letting him know how much we appreciate his partnership and the faith of the city council to work with us and the quick response for our businesses. So thank you so much. I'll turn it back to you, John. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. We very much appreciate the partnership as well. I want to close with three prouds. I'm proud of this public-private partnership. I'm proud of our community. And finally, I am proud to be your mayor. We look forward to kicking this project off. I would ask that you all take care of yourselves and we'll talk soon. Thank you very much.